So we've got leakage in here. Have to have a look into that. Grapefruit porter. Put you. Get ready for a brew. There's me grains. Seven. Point three.
we've got here then, we've got malt at uh, Red Dog Brewer sent me. They're going in. Malt, dark wheat malt. Bit of chocolate mold. It's all completely random by the way. Last minute brew.
a bag. I've got another one in it. Dust off. Just in case YouTube plays through there, that's what we're playing in the background.
Yeah, man. No, I hit my foot. <coughs> go. Hey, what am I doing? I'm pressing buttons on my phone. There's the grains, all crushed. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> 15 litres of water in there approximately. I'll switch that back on because it's been off for a little while. In fact, let's look into my ink bird, see what temperature we're at. Cables, cables everywhere. She's on. Typical, can't get in the old first time. 25 degrees, get up to about 65. I'm gonna go from there, shall we? Got not too much tonight yet. Full of chuffing beer. Watching the Champions League final on YouTube, courtesy of BT Sport Live, just in case anybody wants what's on in the background. Giants, two European heavyweights, exchanging some pretty meaty punches here. It's been a brilliant game so far, 35 minutes in. Perfectly poised. Pretty defences, shot, and call from Ronaldo. And straight back into the game. It's what you want, isn't it? I mean, you, want, you want a showpiece when you've got the Champions League final. Oh, I've paused it. I think the games like this, there's a four teams to get on Little top Joe, at some point. Just, just so you know, copyright and all that rubbish. <clears throat> Not bad, in the ball, yeah, week and a half. Just thought I'd give the battery a minute, because I ended up flattening it. Should tell my beers? Oh, his. Mm. 
That's the uh, porter that I did with some uh, grapefruit in it. Only been the bottle a week and a half. It smells nice. It smells definitely smells of grapefruit. Fruit left to tones to it. Mm. A few more weeks. A bit of carbonation there. No, no head though. No. Do for me. I talk to myself and uh, not the camera kind of thing going on there. You can see now I've got this bloody thing rigged up right now. I've got the camera with elastic band around it charging because you can't charge the bloody thing when it's in its case. Right, I've got a beer. It's a uh, crike, crike, crick, crike, crikey. What did I do with the bloody label? It's a cherry one. Here we go. I've not had it before. I keep looking. I kept walking past it in the old supermarket. It's a Bacchus Belgian beer. One of these ones. Thing with a paper around it. Two pound fifty. Uh, it weighs in at. I like a job with paper, isn't it? Oh, it's getting around here now. Weighs it at 5.8%. And what does it say? Flemish old brown, typical Flemish beer with a pleasant wine like taste and a rich pass. The dark brown beer is which is matured in oak casks. So, the missus might like this thing, it's got a wine thing, not a wine thing going. A nice wrapping on it. Shall we? What do I do with it? What's there? Look. It's been in the fridge for three days, and when I want to drink it, it's not cold. Been out of the fridge for an hour and a half, and it's warm. It's such a bloody warm day. I'll drink it anyway. 25th of the 1st, 2019, says on there. Nice bottle. With hiss. Oh, mate, I tell you what, cherries are abundant in this absolutely cherry full. Uh, Shall we go for a pour? Aggressive pour in there, just so you can get a head out of it. There. That is a lovely looking look at the colour on that. There we go, I've got it just a lovely looking colour. Nice pinkish looking head on it, half a finger high. The aroma on it is absolutely lovely. I think we can describe it. It's cracking, lovely. Well, I don't know. Should we go for a taste? Whoa! It's cherry, cherry, cherry little bomb. It is. It is a cherry bomb. It kind of reminds me of um, cherries. Which comes in handy, seeing as how it's got cherries in it. Yeah, right, nice little drink that. Reminds me of a yoghurt. Cherry yoghurt. 
and cherries are my favourite yoghurt. Funny enough. Is that still bloody bubbling away or what? Slowly but surely. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> She's on the flow. The blockage that was there is no, no longer there then. Oh, excuse me. Slightly intoxicated. I can't even say it. Intoxicated. Not going to deny that. But this is a lovely drop. Uh, £2.50 a bottle. Got a lovely colour to it. Um, taste. Cherries all over. Oh, I could drink this all day. But the only problem is, is it's quite sweet, and the sweetness would get the best of me, and it'd be uh, a messy situation. Five point eight percent, slightish alcohol tone to it. But other than that, absolutely a lovely drink. I didn't think I'd uh, be all that keen on it myself when I bought it. I've been avoiding it for ages in my local supermarket, thinking, oh, I might buy it, I might buy it. And then I went in the other night, I had four quid in my pocket, I had to get some butter, and it left me about £2.60, and I walked through to the beer aisle, and I'm like, eh, what to get? I thought, fuck it, why not? Try not try something different, and I'm glad I did. I won't need to slow that down because we're not. The flow is not even. I have to turn that off for a sec. And the brew I'm doing right now is just a concoction between everything that I had laying around. We've got Red Dog Brewers malt. So again, uh, so I can't remember what it is. I must look on the uh, chat. My phone's just died. Couldn't obtain live image, so I don't know if this is recording or not now. I've got a chat. Um. Yeah, you're recording because the lights are at the back. It's the phone that's died, not the camcorder. And now we're all over the shop. Look. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, so yeah, if I stand like that at a slight angle, uh, fucking hell, do my head in there. I was watching the Champions League final on YouTube. Let's uh, bugger it. Uh, why don't these things ever work for me? I'll tell you what, I'll do that. That's it, we're in. The phone's still trying to connect to the bloody cam to the camera. So I've no idea how I'm looking at you. So hello, here I am cocking it all up. My little pump's still going, it's pumping water. I actually got it the right way around this time, that's time I did it pumping it the wrong way around. Oh so yeah, I'm aiming for at least a five percent beer. Five kilos of grains plus all the adjuncts that went in there and the extras. Tell you what, let's just try that. Mm -hmm. Dave the Welsh Brewer. Oh, him in his bloody bingo wings game, whatever it's called. Cheers. Yeah, it's almost like a liqueur kind of thing. And I'm supping it like it's uh, going out of fashion. It's nice. We are still on, aren't we? I'm not right, dick. When I put this one up. Oh, yeah, we're still on. So, stupid phone's gone down. It's not working because normally it shows me and this and that. And saying. Direct connect. Come on, you stupid phone. God, I tell you what's getting a bit muggy in here. New tripod. 
pretty good because I can just lean it and, and press it and the leg goes wherever I want it to go and vice versa and that's just doing that it should be showing me a picture but it's not so how can I stop it cancel let's get rid of all that crap and try and reconnect I think it's because I've got the USB plugged in let's try and do it now I charge the bloody thing uh, never a dull moment. Oh, I'm off to Telford next week. Can't wait for that. You want me there tomorrow, Sunday, but I can't because I'm bloody got a car festival to go to and I'm spending time with the family. I'm not spending. Oh, it's not going to happen. I'll do that later. I'm not going to spend all day, all weekend chasing after marquees and things so we have to wait there we go she's pumping away can't wait to get my new pump when it comes they sent me another one <clears throat> so we'll see what happens oh that's nice well how are we doing? Right, here we go, this is what we got in the end. What's this? A rather dark looking brown ale. It's got a one little finger head. Nice. Uh, Creamy looking head as well. That. Um, I've wrote it down somewhere, but I've completely forgot the book. I think the book's just for two sets. Sure wrote you down. It's Mark Walton's address, you don't want that. I've already all got it. Seems to forgot mine though. Let's get some beers out. Right, here we go. 5k of bright malt, 500 grams of chocolate malt, 500 grams of roast barley, 200 grams of crystal malt, dark wheat malt, 500 grams. Is this the one? I don't think it is. What's that? Any recipes? Let's look back on the video, Wayne. Right? So it's already an hour long. Bloody flies. Probably wrong, I know. Anyway. Teach me to keep my notes, ain't it? Here we go. Hmm. Nice. 
moltness and roastness to it. Hello Mr Wasp, buzz off. Um, it's got the, uh, the malt I've got off Dave and Red Dog. It took a while to make this video. Kegged it earlier in the week. Pretty damn good. Slight like medium, medium mouthfeel to it. Um, I'm going to bottle some of this up. Oh God, it's so crap at swirling. I'm throwing it myself now. Look. And now I'm attracting the flies. But yeah, it's good. It's got uh, like a nutty taste to it. Um, plenty of hops in there, I know that, and I can't even remember what the bloody hops were either. Oh, man, let's keep better notes. Note to myself. The thing is, everything's on video. So, you only watch your video and you'll see. It's some massive editing, I know that. Right? I might just upload the whole lot. Who knows? I've got fart brewing now. Uh... Oops. Oops. Got to get it out. Why is your pop? Phew. I'm sure it's this one. 5k. 500, 500, and 500. Yeah. Dark wheat malt. Roast barley, chocolate malt, crystal malt. Ah, it's bugging it right now anyway. Too many bloody books. So, what did my overall impression of it? It was one of those where you just chucked loads of stuff in. See what I can do with it, he said. I think it was John Campbell. Red Dog Brewer, do something different with that, and I have. And uh, I think I've done alright. It's, um, it's not the greatest beer I've ever made. I'm going to go chill it. I actually got chilled in my fridge and it, it was nearly freezing and I had the setting on wrong. So it proper cold crashed it. Um, but I pulled it out, don't the temperature, and I'll put it back in shortly. Because it's just sat there, look. I'm going to refit in my shed. Oh my god, where's it gone? Bloody wasp. It's in my face. i just done a uh, smash beer review. That one. So yeah, pretty decent drink. It's, um, I can't remember what the gravity was. No gravity was. I've got it wrong. Oh, I'll have to have a look. A classic case of keep notes. Oh, you'll fuck it up. Show sure us that one. I'll stop printing some sheets off. So yeah, going down quite quick. First pint of it. A little bit of lacing. A little bit murkier because I think that's because I've had to move the keg. But I'm gonna chuck it in the fridge tonight. Like I say, get a few uh, sent out. All right. Cheers, have fun. <laughs>